A while ago I did a remake of one of the most popular games in the world, the Chrome Dino game. Apart from the mandatory cactus obstacles, I also added bosses to spice it up a bit and the video did surprisingly well, with more than 700,000 views across two videos and almost 16,000 plays on itch.io. It's time to wrap this project up once and for all, cause like all legendary sagas, there has to be a trilogy. So buckle up, time to make this game really shine, and there will be a surprise later on, which I think you guys will really enjoy, so make sure to stick around until the end. After reading all the comments and suggestions from the two previous videos, the one thing that caught my attention was to add some sort of water biome. I think this could potentially open up for a new boss, look at that guy for example. Liopler. But first we have to create a new biome. I started with the water segments and as usual I'm making all my textures in GIMP. For this purpose we need a water starting segment, a middle segment and an end segment for the water biome. I then turn them into prefabs to be able to spawn in game. To prevent player from running on water like it was regular ground, I added a water collider to the new prefabs. The collider triggers a sync animation and the game status is set to game over. But just some water without any danger in it isn't enough of course. Let's do some research on that dinosaur that we found earlier. This guy is a monster. Let's create something similar. Before creating a real model I made a temporary water dino with only blocks directly in the Unity editor. <laughs> For attack pattern I created the simplest enemy state machine possible and slapped it onto the new game object. I then created a start emerge event, an attack from the right and an attack from the back. Ok, let's try to make something a bit more accurate to a reference image of the new dino boss. For this purpose I'm using the free voxel art editor Magica Voxel. I'm really not an artist in any means, but I did my best and tried to cover up the flaws with particle effects and a good amount of screen shake. After a bit of tweaking the state machine, I finally added a collider to the jaws of the new model, and now he's able to actually catch the player and drag him into the water. Another popular request after the last devlog was to add natural disasters into the game. The one I'm choosing to give a try is an earthquake. I started by making a simple crack to the ground texture and then opened up Magic Voxel once again to model some spiky rock segment to add to the new ground segment prefab. This prefab is then triggered with a collider placed at some distance to the segment and triggers the spikes to pop up from the ground and forcing player to jump. This obstacle is quite easy to tackle in the beginning of the game but as the speed increases it truly challenges the player reactions. The most essential aspect of the dino game is the jump, so for this version of the game I made some improvements by increasing the player jump speed proportional to the running speed. This way it gives the player a feeling of control when running speed increases and every boss and obstacles moves faster. And running speed in this case is how fast the ground is moving beneath the player, giving the illusion of player running. This also gives the player a fair chance to bypass the obstacles when running pace is high, but this also challenges the player to be more exact in every jump when speed increases. The jumping is sure the star of the show, but in all honesty, it is kind of monotone after a while when only running on plain ground. So to make it a bit more exciting, I'm introducing platforms in this update of the game. This opens up possibilities for a lot of variations to really set the player reaction to a test. Some of the platforms demand player to just run off the ledge to not miss the next one. A bit like those platforms in Geometry Dash. Wait, what's that? It must be the Brilliantosaurus, one of the most clever dinosaurs ever lived. Brilliant is today's sponsor and also a place where you can learn by doing and has thousands of interactive lessons in programming as well as AI, math and data analysis. Something that really helps you create all the applications and game mechanics you can imagine. One thing I really like about this is Brilliant helps you build your critical thinking skills through problem solving, not only memorization. So while you're building real knowledge on specific topics, you're also becoming a better thinker. Brilliant is designed to be uniquely effective using hands-on problem solving where you can play around with different concepts, a method that has been proven to be 6 times more effective than just watching regular lectures and video tutorials. And also, the lessons on Brilliant is crafted by an award-winning team of teachers, professionals from MIT, Caltech, Duke, Microsoft, Google and more. Learning a little every day is one of the most important things you can do, both for personal and professional growth. Brilliant helps you build real knowledge in minutes a day, with fun lessons you can do whenever you have time. 
What interests me the most about the Brilliant platform is the impressive number of programming courses, which you can use to start building programs on day one with their built-in drag and drop editor. You will learn the basic and essential coding elements like loops, variables and conditions. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash devreth or click the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I promised you a surprise in the beginning of the video and something I think you who played the game from the last devlog will enjoy. A leaderboard to see who's the real Dino Run champ on this channel. For this purpose I'm using a leaderboard service from Loot Locker and after creating some needed UI elements, it was finally time for the best part, playing the game as if there were no tomorrow. I'm not a pro gamer but I know some of you are and I'm pretty sure that some of you will take me off the throne pretty quickly, but who knows. And also I'm planning on porting the game to Android and put it out for free on Google Play Store. Maybe even add an Another boss while I'm at it since I'm already messing around with this spaghetti code of mine. Comment if you have any suggestions for the future of the game. Anyways, go and play the game, let's see who's the real Dino Round champ, link in the description. See ya!